<clears throat> Hello, Jose. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I'm a little bit tired, but I guess I have a free day. It's Friday. It is the last day in the week. It's a little bit more difficult. Yes, you're right. Uh, Friday is a crazy day. <laughs> Especially in the street. A lot of yes. people are crazy, the traffic, the everybody's pushing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, more than three hours in the traffic. Uh, Oof. Yes. Wow. That's terrible. That's terrible, Jose. A yeah. long, long time. Yes. Um, I, I, I been to home. Mm -hmm. Um, exhausted sometimes. I can imagine three hours in traffic is a long time. Yeah. <clears throat> um, um, and and a very and hardly and hardly works this um a very bad combination yeah definitely all right well i'm glad that we have a couple people always is difficult on friday because it's more difficult for people to connect but i see we have elvis javier dina and miguel is excellent we are ready to begin today okay uh, today we're going to be looking at the past tense. This is our first part of Unit 5. We're going to start today looking at Unit 5 past tense. Today we have a small introduction video that's going to help us understand the unit. Okay. <clears throat> To finish this course, we want you to sit, relax, and watch the last video with us. Feel free to take notes as you watch it. Finally from us, the virtual office. For better or worse, technology and globalization are creating startling changes in what it means to be on the job. Betsy Stark is tracking the new order of business, and tonight begins our series, The Future of Work. Okay. So before we watch it, what do you understand about that? The home office. For you, what is the idea of the home office? When when we working online, the computer, on social media, etc. Okay, good. And is and do you think the home office is permanent, Elvis, or only for the pandemic? And then we return. Um, all time uh, is we we are in the future yet. So in the in the future, continue home office. Yes, yes, I think. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. I guess it's your um the mm, the future um is is now where the home office works um since the pandemic um a lot of people has has worked has working from home. And what is your opinion? Do you like, do you don't like? For example, me, you, you experience, I have home office. I, it's really, really, for me, is I am at my home or I can have my class in El Tunco or in the bar or, you know, I can go to a Mahawal and I have, I can have home office because my job is, is good, but no, is not good for all the people. And is not the same for you. What do you? What is your opinion? Do you like or you don't like to work with home office? 
it depends on the profession. For mm -hmm. example, uh, in my case, I I couldn't uh, working at at home. <laughs> what is your because profession? I am barber. Ah no, <laughs> the barber, the virtual barber. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's very difficult. Your job, it, your profession is obligation, like a mechanic. The mechanic is obligation has to be in the office or in, in the shop. Okay. Hey, so for Juelvis in the pandemic, very difficult. I'm not working in pandemic. Uh-huh. I imagine. I imagine in yeah. the pandemic is super hard because I remember me in the pandemic, my hair very long. <laughs> my skin, I, I didn't cut. I didn't cut for like almost eight months the hair maybe my hair like raquel like this <laughs> uh, 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 um by me i i in in the pandemic i i made uh, many things that i guess never i never doing mm -hmm. Um, for example, I I made pupusas, <laughs> uh, putting my putting hair mm -hmm. to my song, uh -huh. and and um, see you two um, learning uh, how to cook some something. <laughs> Yeah, in the pandemic, a lot of people learn many skills, many different things you had to learn in the pandemic. Mm -hmm. But what do you think? Do you think home office, do you like or you don't like to do home office? Hmm? I think it's a good thing because uh, you have to, to be in a lot of traffic and don't have to go out home sometimes and that was that is what i think okay good good that's the idea okay anybody else what do you think you like you don't like is difficult is easy hmm. i think mm, that is easy and A lot of people and and in the in our country um, lose lose their works mm -hmm. lose their jobs so and and don't stop they um, they looking for a new a new jobs. They're looking for uh, implement um, your skill, develop new skills, and mm, in my case, I I was working in a GNO NGO uh, NGO, yes. Mm -hmm. And I have to change the routine. Me too. Um, Me too. Um, mm -hmm. the, the first week, I feel so good. It's like holidays, I said. But um, the next 30 years, I, I feel bored. 30 years? The, not the 30, 30, 30 days. Ah, Sorry. okay, okay. 30, 30 days. Uh -huh. <laughs> the next um, 30 days, I've, I feel bored. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I I remember that um, I'm waiting for going to the supermarket at the uh, 
um, to the grocery store and in any place. <laughs> only only, I, I, house, only huh? one only go out only I I um I guess um and was a new experience for um for everybody. Okay. Well, let's watch the rest of the video and find out. What do they say about the home office? What do they say about the future of work? Let's see. Imagine a work world with no commute, no corporate headquarters, maybe no office in the physical world at all. For Bob Flavin, Janet Hoffman, and Joseph Jaffe, the future is already here. These days we do so much stuff by teleconferences and things. Um, that it doesn't matter where you are. Like 42% of IBM's 350,000 employees, Bob Flavin rarely comes into an IBM office. We don't care where and how you get your work done. We care that you get your work done. On the day we met him, he was collaborating with computer scientists in British Columbia and Beijing from the on-call room of his local ambulance corps, where he works as a volunteer. You are in 6031. The workforce at the Accenture management consulting firm is so mobile, not even the CEO has an office with his name on the door. There's no corporate headquarters. No. If you need a workspace, you reserve it like a hotel room, checking in and out at a kiosk. Having a big desk is a sign of status with lots of family photos and, uh, you know, and, and carpeting that's fluffy and nice, is, uh, that is, is a vision of the past. Come on into the theater. In the future, more companies with scattered workforces and clients may do what the Crayon Marketing Firm has done and make their headquarters in cyberspace. Here's our little rooftop. We had our holiday party here. Crayon's workers rarely meet in the physical world. I am uh, in Boston today. And I am on Long Island today. But their alter egos in the virtual world gather once a week. We're here in, uh, in our boardroom, and uh, you're here actually at the tail end of a status meeting. I never met Crayon's CEO in person. There you are. But we spent a couple of hours together in cyberspace. Our belief is that if we bring like minds together, no matter where they are in the world, we can actually create that connectedness as if we're actually here at the same place at the same time. If what matters is what you do, not where you are, who needs an office? Betsy Stark, ABC News, Crayonville in cyberspace. And tomorrow, imagine having summers off every summer. That is World News for this Monday. I'm Kate Snow. For Charles Gibson and all of us at ABC News, have a good evening. Good night. Okay, so as you can see, we have a good introduction about our unit. In this unit specifically, we're going to be talking about world history, we're going, to note, we're going to make references to the past using different vocabulary and phrasal verbs. Here we're going to see them right now. A little bit about references to the past. This is one of the things that we're going to... Join us in the last section of this course. We want you to answer the following questions. Number one, do you know when World War I began? How long has the United Nations been in existence? How long were the Beatles together for? If you really know the answers, type them in. I'm good at history. Part A. Listen and practice. Look, here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right. First question. When did World War I begin? I think it began in 1917. Huh. And how long has the United Nations been in existence? Uh... Since Kennedy became president in 1961. Hmm. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980, so they were together for 15 years. So, how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. We want you to stay and listen to the rest of the conversation. Okay, so before we listen to the rest of the conversation, let's take a look at some of the things that they mentioned, okay? 
So here we have a lot of different things. Um, first, the dates. If you notice, when we talk about years, specifically for dates, is two and two. We don't say like in Spanish. In Spanish is 1,900, but in English, no. In English is two and two. 1917, 1961, 1965. It's always by two and two, 1980. Okay. Now, also, we tend to use a lot of the times, um, we can use words like uh, ago or before or began. And this also indicates the time. Okay. Are there any words or any parts of the conversation you don't understand? It's okay. It's okay, teacher. All right. Now I want you to listen and pay attention. What are the correct answers? What is the correct information? When did World War I begin? When uh, did the United Nations begin in existence? How long? Did all of that information, I want you to listen and identify. Write it down or copy it or put it in the chat. Listen to him. Make sure we practice the good listening comprehension. Very well. Not one of your answers is correct. We want you to stay and listen to the rest of the conversation and find out the correct answers for the questions we asked at the beginning. So what are the correct answers then? Well, World War I began in 1914 and ended in 1918. Oh, that's right. And the United Nations was formally established in 1945, following the end of World War II. And the Beatles? Well, they started back in 1960, and they broke up in 1970. So they were together for 10 years, not 15. Did I say I was good at history? Uh, I meant geography. Okay, let's take a look and tell me what was the in correct existence. information. Uh Okay, so when did World War I begin? Nineteen fourteen. Excellent, nineteen fourteen. Great. And how long has the United Nations been in existence? Hmm. Okay, maybe we. Uh huh. Teacher, is how much time have existing? Yes, this is the idea. How much time? How long? Okay, seventy seventy eight years, because the it was formed in the nineteen forty five. Okay, very good. They say 1945 is correct. For this, is we use the word since. Since is the word for begin. So it has been in existence since 1945. Great. And when did Kennedy become president? Oh, no. What was the question? Oh, how long, how long were the Beatles together? Things like 1960 until uh, 1970, ten, 10 years together. 10 years, correct, but not correct since, correct uh, from, from 1960 to 1970. Okay, why is not correct since? Because since is not finished, since is continue, since is start. Good. 10 years. Great. And what was the last one? No, that was it, right? The idea for all of those. Okay. Very good. So now you can see we are using different expressions to talk about the past. Since, from, to, until, ago. These are all of the things that we're going to have. So we're going to be talking about the past using different ways. 
This is the important. Right now we're going to listen and then we're going to practice our speaking. Right now we're going to listen to different ways to refer. Hi, we want to go back in time. We will explain how we can refer to it. Don't go and stay for the explanation. Get ready. Referring to time in the past. A point of time in the past. When did World War II take place? During the 1940s. In the 1940s. Over 60 years ago. A period of time in the past. How long were the Beatles together? From 1960 to 1970. For 10 years. A period of time that continues into the present. How long has the United Nations been in existence? Since 1945. Since World War II ended. For about the last 60 years. Okay. First, it's okay the meaning with from, to, for, ago, during. All of these time expressions, are they clear? Yes, no, confusion. Yes, yes, it's sure. But in the practice, we forget it. Yes, that's why we practice, because if you don't practice in the moment, you only remember one. And the idea is practice all. Okay? Good. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. When I add the letter is to the years. Uh, when it's zeros for 10 years or 100 years. So always with zeros, 1920s, 1930s for 10 years or for 100 years, but with zero, 1900s, 1800s. This is for the expression for this period, all of it. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. When we want to talk about a point of time in the past, we may use the words in, ago, during. I will give you some examples using a timeline. Rock and roll became popular about 50 years ago. Disco became a craze in 1975. Madonna was on the music scene during the 1990s. A period of time that continues into the present using since and for. The United Nations has existed since 1945. The United Nations has existed for over 60 years. Remember, we use since plus a point of time. Example, since last year, since Tuesday. And we use for plus a length of time. For example, for two weeks, for three hours. A period of time in the past using from, to, and for. World War I lasted from 1914 to 1918. World War II lasted for four years. After the explanation, we want you to type examples using ago, since, and for. Okay. Are all of those topics okay? How to use ago, since, for, and the other words? Yes. Okay. In this case, we're, we have three links in the chat. In the chat, please open the three links and we're going to talk about past tense events. You're going to use time expressions like in, for, since, around, from, to, all of these different things with along with the others vocabulary to the give description. So open the links and with our partners, we are not going to share the screen, not share the screen, but we are going to use the links to ask the partner questions and continue the conversation. 
the question helped begin the conversation. It's your responsibility to ask more information, okay? So if you open the last link, in the last link is going to save the question number one. Oh, where did you go on vacation? Super easy. I went to the beach. Is my partner responsibility to ask, what beach did you go to? When did you go? Who did you go with? Did you like it? Why did you like it? Why did, the idea is continue the conversation. The questions in the link only to help you begin, but you are responsible to continue the topic. Everybody has the three links? Yes? Yes, it's clear. Okay, great. So let's go with our partners. Use the links, use the time expressions we learn, and let's talk. Miguel, Dina, did you have problems connecting? Jose? Dina, Jose, are you okay?
Dina, let's try another group. Maybe that can help you. And I work until until four four o'clock p.m. Um, okay. and and is they to um and how do you say feria de emprendedores? I don't know. <laughs> Pelear? Feria de emprendedores. Oh, feria. Feria de emprendedores. Fair. Entrepreneur fair. Fair. Entrepreneur fair. Entrepreneur fair. Entrepreneur fair. Entrepreneur fair. Mm -hmm. fair. Well, entrepreneur fair. Uh, do the worker this fabric, this factory, um, they sold to um, the shirts, to plants, uh, mm -hmm. to pictures, toys. It, it's um, company. It's very it's, interesting. Uh, it's company of... Mm -hmm. Oh, a uh, fabrication cloth. Cloth. No, it's to treat and part. And you, you save some work. In my case, any two, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. And what about you, Javier? You say no. Uh, and no. All, all go for recycling. Paper. Yeah, yeah, for recycling or, or to um, sell the books that the the obras. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that all for for sale. <laughs> I don't know how do you say second segunda mano. <clears throat> second hand. Mm -hmm. Second hand. Oh. Second hand. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, you know. Okay, mm -hmm. another question. Exact. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Twenty-four hours. Wow. Almost. But in in what you uh, did you enjoy it? Mm, yeah, it was really excited exciting uh, to to cross three countries in one day around. And that was incredible. How to say frontera? There is the teacher. <laughs> Frontier, I think. Border. 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 Ah, the border. Right. Well, in the trip, uh, we we have to 
we takes around two hours in the border of Honduras and Nicaragua. Miguel, have... did, did you travel uh, uh, on bus or uh, a car? In a car. In a car. Yeah, but uh, for for coming back to to this country, it I I came in bus by bus oh. or in bus in bus I don't know, but it takes nineteen hours in bus. Yeah, a lot was, of time was really hard. Yeah, I it's heavy. <laughs> I came with a big uh, stomach aches. Stomach aches. Wow. Really. How, how is the country? It's it's really it's beautiful. The people say is is it's very insecure, but it could be true, but not at one hundred percent. The people is really glad. Is kind. Uh, and there is a lot of how to say uh -huh, hi Jaime uh -huh, I did what happened Jaime? Edith? Okay, I see everybody's quiet in this group. Nobody wants to talk. Practically, I am a boss. <laughs> Good. And, yeah. I, I... Now, now, now I need, I need, eh, ¿cómo sería el, el, el equipo? Todo montado, el aire acondicionado. Um, do you want an installation? <laughs> yeah, I need. <laughs> okay, call, you can call me, um, I can give you my number, you call me and I visited okay. in your home. Uh, yes, in, in my house, uh, in my world, uh, it's cool, but in my house, no, no. It's very hot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh... Okay. Hay, hay dos José ahí, entonces no sé si me pregunto a mí mismo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, have, I have to, I have one question for myself. <laughs> okay, okay, ladies. Um, um, Natalie, since... Since you was work
Okay. Any questions, any vocabulary or things that you're thinking about? Um, teacher, uh, uh, quiz is a game. What? Repeat. Uh, in the conversation, uh, uh, the quiz is a game uh, for question and answer. Correct. It's a question for get a question and answer. Um, maybe before it's like the game Jeopardy. Dun, 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 the Jeopardy, that game, that was a quiz, the questions and answers. Okay, good. Any other questions or words? All right, let's take a look at one of the questions and try together, okay? What was your first memory? This was in link number three. Question number three. What was your first memory? Uh-huh, what happened? Everybody's scared. Um, um, I guess so in the daycare, I was in the daycare when I was four years old. Mm -hmm. And what do you remember? Do you remember? And, mm -hmm. um, I, 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 I remain. Um, I um, I remain my the, the the teacher was walked around. Um, how to say vaccine, but um, la jeringa con syringe. Syringe. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, she walked around with a big. With the big syringe, <laughs> and and we have we have to slip <laughs> with um in we um, we had we had to um be quiet. Or he gave you a vaccine. Wow. Yeah. A little crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah. I well, never, I never forget it. I imagine it's very traumatic. It's very traumatic. <laughs> yes. Okay. We are forced. <laughs> mm. So now we're going to go ahead and try again. We're gonna switch partners and we're gonna try again. We're gonna discuss with our partners different questions. Remember you have three different links. It's not obligation to have the same link. You can, you can use different topics, different questions, all of the things that you want to talk about. And always ask more questions to get more information from your partner. Was it? Okay. Good.
of Cantinflas. Mm. Yes, uh, uh, when I was just uh, is a child, almost baby, we we don't have uh, TV <laughs> Be because uh, uh, before uh, after uh, my father uh, um, bought the TV so uh, I we we could see the TV. When when I when I was kid, uh, that's a good memory for you. And you? And my case, I remember that I was eight years old when around eight or seven years old. And I remember that my first lucid memory about you have the click of that that you remember that you have a, a connection in your in your things in your thinking or in and you so and so I I ask to my mom what she was thinking in this moment and what she think about my dad think about i i remember this uh, important thing but uh, i impressed because the situation was um so difficult and i tried to to know what happened <laughs> so that's my my first memory that i remember you have a good friend but the, the best friend is a is like <laughs> <laughs> they don't be, believe in best friend <laughs> no i don't okay. believe in a best friend <laughs> i just i just have a good friend and maybe two or three good friends but a best friend <laughs> I never have. <laughs> yeah. I do have a best friend. Okay. Thinking and well, I, I I never grow, I never have. And, <laughs> and I and I hope to grow grow old with her. <laughs> the means are complicated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, when do you last tell a lie? Excuse me. No sé si es tray, tray comercio. Commerce, and a commerce and negotiations. Commerce. Mm -hmm. There is the teacher. <laughs> how, how to say commercial? Trade. Trade. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Trade. Okay. What is the question? <laughs> Uh, girl talking about Tona mm Catepeque. -hmm. And Edith told me that there is a lot of trade. Ah, uh, yes. In this case, maybe not trade. In this case, commerce. Uh, mm -hmm. commerce. Mm -hmm. okay. Trade is usually for countries, big organization. There's a lot of trade at Salvador and Mexico, or the United States and El Salvador has a lot of trade. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then smaller, uh, for example, in Santa Tecla, Paseo Carmen, there's a lot of commerce. A lot of commerce. 
So, okay. Keith, what was the question? Uh, how is Tonacatepeque? Because I don't know that place. So, Tonacatepeque. Is that in San Martin? Eh, a la par. <laughs> near, near. Uh, near or, or <laughs> Connect to. Mm. That's near uh, Ciudad Mujer, right? Right. Okay. Then I know. I, I have the idea where it is. This is, this is where you live, Edith? Um, my family. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. I remember. I went there too. There's a park. It's um, a parque de la familia, if I remember correctly, in in the street in the highway. It's very big. The park. It's like a bicentenario. Yeah. Bicentenario is grande. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's very big, extremely big. Ah, uh, it's really big. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead, guys. Continue. Don't be scared. It's okay. You're very quiet. Um, peace, peace, <laughs> No, peregrina. what? Peregrina. Yes, yes, peregrina. Así como dijo Natalie. Hay <laughs> <laughs> hay trompos. Trompos. Capiruchos. Yes. Capiruchos. When I was a child, eh, eh, we eh, doing the trump, the capirucho. Of the morro. Mm -hmm. Do you know the morro? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a ah. Uh, it's it, with my friends. Uh, go the morro, and uh, make a a. ¿Cómo se dice agujero, teacher? A hole. Hole. Ah, uh, make many holes, many holes, many holes, and a uh, use something like uh, this yeah. and i i play with a capirucho de morro i, I remember yeah. i remember i played um canicas how, how do you say oh, canicas yes marbles Canica. marbles okay i i played marbles yes in uh, the school mm -hmm. in the, yes yes natalie yes yes i hear you in the school, uh, we play to um, money, money, uh, billetes. Cow. Fish. Very delicious. Uh -huh. Pescado, así como le llaman envuelto o seco. Envuelta. Uh -huh. With eggs. Yes, with eggs. And the another day. Ah. On Thursday, uh, pupusas. Mm -hmm. We spend time with my family too. Yeah, all week you 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 bake. All week, You're very tired. Yes, <laughs> because yeah. because. Um, but it's funny too. Very funny, and <laughs> you do you do you watch? Ah, uh, movies about Jesus. No, the vacation. No, no. and when I was young, what is the last thing that you bought? Me? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, repeat. Estaba un poquito distraída. Estaba viendo cuál es la next question. <laughs> All right. What was the last thing you bought? Boat. Yeah. What is the mean boat? Compraste. O compraste. Ah, boat. 
What was the last day you bought? Uh, yesterday, I I bought. I remember. I remember when I have uh, eleven years old. Eleven. Mm -hmm. One one. <laughs> 11, 11, ah, okay. You, what? Okay, okay. One, 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 yes, 11, uh-huh. <laughs> you, you were... Okay, thank you so much for participating uh, and asking questions and getting to know the partners a little bit more. This was today's grammar, using the past expressions to describe past events. Remember, the important is that we are clear how to use them and how to describe past events. Some of the things that we learned was from, to, for, since, ago. It's okay, all of those words, how to use the expressions? Yes, teacher. All right, thank you. Well, in that case, I hope you have a great weekend and then we will continue on Monday. Next week, four classes and we finish. So remember, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, no class, and then Thursday and Friday next week. Well, teacher, um, yeah, I have a question. Uh, and I need help. I I typing on the on the group in the WhatsApp group. Okay. I have I have problem with some exercise in the platform with the final exam. I I write I wrote uh, in many things uh, uh, in different ways, and I. And I couldn't do it. Don't worry. We're going to check on Monday. Sometimes it's the capital letter. Sometimes it's the space. Sometimes it's the contraction. Sometimes it's the period. We have to check to see what is the, the exercise and which number to work on it. Okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, everyone, have a great night. And I will see you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Okay, teacher. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.